The Pompano track and world record set by King Conk one year ago, 156 and two. And a look at the field and the post time odds. Glenn Marangi, seven for eight in the money this year. Five to one. Dirk and Lobel at 70. Giant Chill, seven to five. Won the Peter Houghton Memorial, but the big story here is his health. He's not raced in 27 days. King Levesque, three to two. Dylan Lobel at 20 to one. Cool Prince, a long shot at 90. Capital Star, 15. High Noon Star, 16 to one. Promising catch from the outside. Who won the Castleton Cup? being held at 7-1. to one. Ken Warkington with the call of the two-year-old Colton Gelding Trot. There they go. And they're off and trotting. The favorite Giant Chill gets away fast now for Sonny Patterson. Giant Chill away with a quick early lead. And from the far outside, Capital Star is showing some early trot for Bill Fay as they hit the first turn. Dirk and Lobel settles in the third spot as they head around the first turn. High Noon Star is in fourth and edges out for Campbell. Promising catch on the outside fifth. Saving ground, Glenn Morangi is sixth. That one followed by King Levesque past the opening quarter. And then it's Dylan Lobel and Cool Prince off stride when High Noon Star. High Noon Star to break 29 and 2 for the opening quarter mile by the grandstand. It's Giant Chill up front leading the way here. Capital Star is second. Dirk and Lobel is third. Parked on the outside. Promising catch in the fourth spot. Going up with him is King Levesque on the move from fifth. Glenn Morangi back to sixth. Around the club turn they go. Dylan Lobel joins the outside flow for Moiseev. Next comes Cool Prince. And after the break, the trailer is High Noon Star. They hit the half mile station and it's Giant Chill looking to take it all the way. Slows it down a bit. A minute to the half. Giant Chill by a length. Up to apply some pressure on the outside. Promising catch and Dave Rankin. Capital Star getting a perfect trip in the pocket. King Levesque on the outside. Second over and fourth. Hammed in on the rail is Dirk and Lobel sixth. Now moving up fifth. Sixth on the outside is Glenn Morangi. They head for the far turn and pass three quarters. Giant Chill lets it out a notch, leads it by two lengths. Off stride on the rail is Capital Star. Capital Star is on a break in second. 129 and one for three quarters. It's Giant Chill's Capital Star goes to the outside. Now moving through on the inside. Dirk and Lobel. Here comes King Lebeck on the outside. They're in the stretch drive. Giant Chill opens it up to three, four lengths. It's Giant Chill. On the outside, King Levesque trying to close in. Dirk and Lobel between horses. They won't catch Giant Chill. A giant victory for Giant Chill. 158 and two here in the crown. Giant Chill bred by Lighthouse Hill Stable, trained by Pear Erickson, driven to victory by Sonny Patterson, his first Breeders' Crown Triumph. Giant Chill returning 484, 40 and 280. Dirk and Lobel a long shot with second 2680 and 820. King Levesque, three dollars to show. Time of the mile, 158 and two. The owners, Stan uh, and Steve Robbins and uh, Jacqueline and Theodore Gewertz own last year's Hamiltonian winner, Giant Victory, and the Breeders' Crown winner also. They paid 135000 for this colt. He's now won 471000 They name all their horses for the New York Giants, and in view of the season the Giants are having, I'm happy that they're having a very good one here. And here's a look at the final order of finish. Giant Chill now 8 for 10 on the year. Glenn Marangi finished fourth. Promising catch was fifth. And completing the official order of finish. Cool Prince, High Noon Star, Capital Star, and Dylan Lobel was last. Another giant win for Pear Erickson.